Hello everyone and welcome back. Dear students, today we are going to discuss single cell proteins. Basically, if you are to define single cell proteins, these are actually the right cells of protein-rich microorganisms which are used as protein supplement in human foods or animal feeds. Okay? Uh, single cell protein, if we define karenge, it is a protein that we get from microorganisms okay and this protein is then used by humans to feed themselves and their animals in the form of supplements there are many other ways of defining single cell proteins uh, it is the production of microbial biomass okay this is one way of uh, defining single cell proteins it is the production of microbial biomass as a supplementing food for humans and animals or it is a large scale production of edible proteins by microorganisms for human and animal consumption and the term SCP comes from the fact because most of the organisms which are employed for SCP production they are unicellular that means they are unicellular okay isiliye hum bolte hain single cell protein because this protein comes from single celled organisms and some of the common microbes which are used as single cell protein producers include bacteria and the examples are brevibacterium and methylophila species then we have cyanobacteria and in this category superluna is commonly used as single cell protein producer then among yeasts we use saccharomyces cerevisiae for single cell protein production and among filamentous fungi uh, fusarium is commonly used for scp production and in algae chlorella is the most common single cell protein producer now the raw materials and the conditions needed for single cell protein production the raw materials that we supply to the microorganisms to form single cell proteins include whey uh, liquid uh, sorry sorry waste liquors hydrocarbon waste citra animal manure etc okay these all uh, products these are actually the waste products which are used as the raw material for single cell protein production and the microorganisms which are employed in single cell protein production they are grown in large aeration tanks and these large aeration tanks are supplied with a high input of oxygen okay they are supplied with the pipes through which oxygen can be forced into the uh, tank so that the microorganisms grow vigorously okay so you have only two requirements one is the raw material which is the waste product that is otherwise uh, thrown into the environment okay and the second one is you should have large aeration tanks supplied with the oxygen supply okay supplied with huge inputs of oxygen now the advantages of using single cell protein as food we are using single cell proteins for a number of reasons and the first one which is most important is uh, single cell proteins are rich in high quality protein and poor in fat content this is very much important uh, when it comes to our health okay uh, we wish to have more protein in our diet as compared to fat because fat is not uh, good for our health and single cell proteins they can be produced in labs all the year round throughout the year you can produce single cell proteins you do not need to have some specific seasons okay the microorganisms which are used for single cell protein production they are growing very fast and they produce large amount of protein in short space and small time okay you can produce a large amount of protein in a short space and in small time 
and the cost of production it is very less the only thing you need is you should have aeration tanks the raw material is the waste product okay and finally the production of scp uses substrates which can otherwise lead to pollution by producing scps you are also reducing the environmental pollution okay this is all about the scps i hope you all understand this uh, thank you and stay blessed